So, welcome back to uh, Coyote Creek. This is the second level, it's called Ambushed. First thing we're going to do is shoot out the boxes. Pick up the uh, Winchester ammo, not the shotgun, it's called the Winchester in this game for some reason. I'm going to save. Grab the uh, ladder and climb up. This, this level is kind of similar to the Desert Railroad because we're on a train. There's only one secret and that's behind us. Pick up the uh, med packs and flares. And that is the only secret in the uh, second level. This level is called Ambush. There's going to be a few uh, enemies in this level, just so that you know. There's not going to be many, just a few. And, uh, yeah. We talked to your friend Chief Dark Cloud. Now we want to have a talk with you. You're not leaving this train till we get all the information we want from you. So yeah, he's not going to attack you, and he's going to just run away by the time we get to him, so there's no point doing room yet. If you, if you come down here and just run, he's not going to bother. He's just a scaredy cat, so... You, if you do try and shoot him, he'll just run away, so he, you can't exactly kill him. In this place there is a small med pack and the Winchester itself. So once you've got the Winchester, use the flip through the core space tactic, then grab the flares. Pull up here, now go up this one backwards. Just turn around and go up backwards. Then just shoot me to the left and then climb up the ladder. There we go. Now I'm going to try and get these videos done quickly, but I'm not too sure if I'll have a lot of time to do this stuff. But anyway, just come across. and grab this ladder I'm going to try and get at least two videos done per week if not more oh, why did I, why did I do that? oh well so yeah, I'm back where I was and now I've, I've just climbed up the ladder I just want to run forward across these trains you want to go to the other side And if you, fall, if you look down there, there's a lever. That's what we're going to do now. Just push, push, push this lever. So yeah, then grab the ladder to climb back up. Okay, this lever is quite short, but it's one of the best ones. So uh, we'll forgive the shortness of it. Now, actually we go over to the other side and uh, there's somewhere we can stand to push out some, uh, to shoot some boxes. We need to shoot out the boxes uh, so that we can use the core space. But after these, isn't it? These next couple of levels will be short, but there will be a few longer ones coming up really soon. Really soon. This game, the four games, not that long. It's not as long as uh, Tomb Raider A Techno Egyptians. That game is just huge. It is really massive. So yeah, just come on out. And there we go. Oh, 
I was like to give a, uh, a quick shout out to two people today. They are uh, Killer Gameplays and uh, Elizabeth. Those two people have been uh, supporting me since the very start of this. So yeah, thanks guys. I appreciate the uh, support. Uh, and I do love all of my uh, subscribers, but... Elizabeth and uh, Killer Gameplays have been really supportive since I started doing this stuff. I want to come down here and shoot off the uh, padlock. I'll just shoot the padlock for you. There you go. So yeah, now that will open up the door. There's also a uh, medipack over here. There's in it, in it, in behind this door there's a key and the Winchester ammo. Now I may call it shotgun ammo, but they called it the Winchester in this game. And I think Titok used the same, well, used the same pickups, but she called it the uh, shotgun Himalayan mysteries. So yeah, this might cause a bit of confusion, but... We'll get through the games if I say Winchester, if I say shotgun ammo, I mean uh, Winchester. So just uh, be aware of that. So uh, if you just come up through here, you're gonna have to go back to a bit early one in the level now because we did pick up a key. It's time to go and use the key. I believe the key is used here. It's called the crane key, so you have to use it here. So use the crane key. I'm not even sure if I'm talking to the right side of my phone now. You know, I'm not. So yeah, once you've done that, just use this rope and save it because you know how much ropes can be tedious sometimes. Now I'll grab the rope, good girl. Now press this brim button to uh, you know use it and just grab. Because we're going to that door that we opened, and that is right over here. So save it, don't grab that. You want to try and uh, roll to you and grab an yes so you land there, but don't grab that other train like that. Now you can see a door behind us, but that's the end of this level, so don't bother with, don't bother with that for now. But this level is quite short, so we'll probably be doing that in about 10 minutes. Obviously, that's going to lower a trap door. So you just use this ladder and climb up. We're going to the other side again now, so yeah. You might see a few uh, pixels, but my computer messing up. It's showing up in Movie Maker so I don't know. Sometimes it does show up but then it doesn't show up in the actual thing. Let's come around again and we're going to where that trap door lowered obviously. So yeah just come around here. So I've got a few things done today which is awesome. Just to go around and come up backwards. Save. Well, I quite like this train level to be honest, it's quite cool. Then we we'll climb up this ladder.
Now I was going to do the next level and this level in the same video but I decided to just keep it separated. So yeah. So if we come through the trap door there's going to be a few boars. Okay I had to redo this bit because the boars weren't there and I'm, and I'm a bit of a perfectionist so if your animals don't spawn I like to uh, get them to spawn. That's just me though. It's kind of OCD. So yeah, is that's are they here or not? I don't see them. There's supposed to be some boars in here but I don't know where they are. Showing up. Okay, this is the first time this has ever happened. I'm gonna see you back at the spot. Okay, I'm gonna get back up here now. Let's hope the boars are here now. Or the warthogs, whatever you want to call them. Yay, there they are. They finally, finally decided to show up. Now I could have just ignored the fact that they weren't there, but this is a work for us, so I pretty much have to get the kills. So just wait for them to uh, try and shoot them from up here. I'm just getting lit here. This only happens when I record. This is happening every video, well not every video, but recently. This happened in uh, Return to the Blue Planet. But I might it also happened in uh, Himalayan Mysteries. It's actually a uh, recording after this one, so spoiler alert. Yeah, so I'm always getting this glitchiness happening in the videos, when I, but it only happens when I'm recording. I guess I, I guess it's because OBS has taken up the uh, RAM or something like that. I don't know. Oh, there's still a uh, warthog there. Oh, just, come on. I don't want if, if you're up here, they can't attack you, so yeah. But, no, I'm just going to go down there. Screw it. So just use your uh, drill revolvers, that's what we're calling them in this game. I just love it when, when these designers don't you rename and redesign the guns. It just makes it so awesome. But anyway, just use the lever. That's going to open up that door, which is where we're going to go now. But, we've got a little thing that's happened. Now, how are you going to get out of there? So, yeah, we have a... There's a padlock, but it's locked us in, so you have to shoot the padlock. This takes too long. Yeah, I'm going to... So, if you didn't see that, I did cut... There we go. And he, he is giving us some food. It's just like, time to die and eat that girl. So those, those faces are coming from him. So he tells us to eat lead and stuff like that. It's the first time I've ever really heard enemies talk other than in Team Red 3. It's not very stealthy at all. So if he's come around... You killed our brother! Now we're gonna kill you, missy! Uh, I don't think so! Let's shoot these two guys first. If you come into the uh, other train, they get confused 
and they don't even bother attacking so yeah let's use that to our advantage and we'll save a med pack but like I said I'm not worrying about a no med run because it's not possible unless you do a, a glitch in the next level but I'm not going to glitch the glitch is the, uh, the one that you can skip a big portion of the game yeah, listen, I'm not going to bother, and why is that guy levitating? We will never know. Why is he just floating? It's kind of like a dynamo, in a way. If anybody knows who dynamo is. Maybe the cowboy is dynamo in disguise. But I'm guessing most of you probably won't know who Dynamo is. He's a magician who, who uh, did that levitating thing in uh, Rio. But that's enough about that. Let's get back to the video. See, I'm just going to call these enemies Dynamos from now on, or Stevens. So there we go. There's a guy up there who wants some uh, bullets. So if you use the rope, you want to try and get up there and you want to kill that guy. We are. We did just pick up a key and that key is the key to end this level, so that's awesome. But you, so yeah, just swing across the rope and sorry if I'm being a bit boring, this level is... I am doing post commentary so I might get a bit... Forgetting what I'm saying all the time. One, yes, shoot this uh, horrible cutter. Then wait for him to die. Time for you to die, not time for me to die. Time to die. Who even says that? And again, do the same flip here. Actually, you just run off. Wait for her to go past, then grab. Use the key. Unlock the door. Come around. There's a note. Pick up the note. I'm going, to, I'm going to examine it. To find the lost gold, look to the force in town. A secret will await and the gold will be revealed completely. So that's just giving you some kind of a clue. Kind of like a little poem I guess. But come out and that's going to be the end of the level. And I will catch you guys in the uh, next level. And it's going to be a good one. So take it easy guys.